Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll be more than glad to do it. So today, I'm going to be reacting to Force Tears. Man, man sir versus christian girl old is god's because corner so a big shout out to the person that suggested this and this video is going to be in two parts so that people don't complain about it being too long so without wasting time let's get into the video i i i honestly i cannot i cannot i just perfect. Well, you believe? You believe in it? Eh? Obviously. Are you, here? are you just here to know the truth or just to tell about the Bible? Yeah, what? Um, and I examined I'm as a. Um, okay, good, good. Um, so, uh, no, 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 this is my no, first no, experience. No, no, I'm asking whether you are you are you willing to learn and understand. And, and things, or are you just here to tell about Christianity? Yeah, I'm, I'm just, um, because because when he asked, he said I'm not uh, a scholar. Very passionate. Uh, they, they were saying uh, what, what the Quran would be, and, and, and a lot of the Quran that, that you have said. Unfortunately, um, the, the history that I found was that there were multiple versions, and I know that there are many people who came to him and said, "Okay, well, which one is the right one?" And Muhammad said to the Prophet, "I also loved the value, the Islamic value of peace." And that Islam was not born through war. And I love that. However, when I looked at the history, Muhammad was a very violent and warmongering man. And oh sir, please, I don't I don't want I don't want to um I don't want to insult your prophet either. But I want you to I want you to see him as he is through history and science and the archaeolo uh, the the archaeo that we have today, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. um, when I, when I, the final straw was when I read that um, that Muhammad um, was allowed. That I read that Muhammad had allowed um, uh, men in war to take um, already married women as their wives. Um, and I said, well, surely there must be some kind of context for that. Sur surely Muhammad wouldn't encourage the rape of married women by his own people. If he had the command, surely he would have stopped them. And I read um, every... This is in Sahib. the Quran you read? Yes. Okay. Um, I read... Oh. I, is this through war? I think it's... I, I, I don't remember. I'm sorry. I wish I could... That's fine. I'm so That's sorry. Fine. Just carry on. Um, and, I, and I ask questions and I... I'm sorry, no, and I was heartbroken she, to even uh, learn that. Sir, finish. please, please do not mistake my tears for manipulation. No, 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 no I, I don't talk about manipulate. your tears. But you said Muhammad is violent. But can you let us uh, finish? Even, even, uh, even, uh, even the prophet who came after Moses, Quran. he used the violences also. Please carry on. Please carry on. Uh, yes. Jerusalem. Um, the Quran portrays Muhammad as a peaceful and mighty man who enacted lots of mercy and was and was the true the true man of faith, the true Muslim, the man that all Muslims should em, should should emulate. But if the I was I was I stumbled when I saw the history of, of the historical Muhammad and how and many commentators who who said that even then in the context that he even encouraged them to take the to take uh, a war captive women as their wives and um so that was not are we the allowed Muhammad. to answer you or what are we allowed to answer yes you? of course answer please do i i these are questions that 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 led me away from um islam and i can tell you how I was led to Christianity, um, but I know that um, you clearly you would have to be you would have to be convinced away from Islam in order to do that. So yes, please. So please what were you before me. you came to Christianity? Mm -hmm. Were you another faith before Christianity? No, um, I was I was a nihilist, which means that I believe that there was no meaning in this universe. That we are all flesh and uh, brain chemicals, and that and every thought that we make is just a result of what we ate for dinner. Because if there is no such thing as a world beyond this flesh, then how can I trust anything I think? Um, then I uh, 
Um, okay, if yes, yes, yes. and then she become Christian. Okay. No, sir. Please do not put words into my mouth. Okay. Um, I. I misunderstand. Yeah. Um, I. I was convinced that the world of nihilism um, explained more, everything. More this one. And however, there were some things that it couldn't explain, like the feeling of love. How could that just be a biological sensation of a sex drive? The feeling of that, the, the desire that I had for a god, I was convinced by that C.S. Lewis's argument that um, we come out of the womb desiring food, which must mean that food somehow exists. And if we all desire God, then I'm sh then maybe surely God must exist. I'm not sure what I think of that argument now, but that is what led me to right, pursue no religion. So we go back yes. to the points you brought up. So the flip, flip side of your points is that Jesus is peace, isn't it? You so found peace with Jesus. I found, I found that the Bible, that the Old Testament and New Testament, through history and archaeology, was the most accurate thing that I could say was the Word of God. It was written by 33 different authors who all have this almost from different cultures, from different genders, from different from different eras of the world, from different nations, from different tribes and wow. tongues and languages. And all of these people had the same experience with this God. And then I was I read through history the accuracy of the Old Testament and the accuracy of the New Testament. And I uh, I discovered um, the historical method, which is used to test ancient documents and to see if they were truly written by the people that they were written by, if they are actually the same words that were written back then if they were uh, were written by trustworthy people by who were eyewitnesses if those eyewitnesses accounts can be even trusted and I was convinced that the, that the Bible was the Word of God so I started reading it and and the worst thing that is in the Bible is that it demands it demands something that no other religion demands I found that all religions have I, I've, many people, I'm sure, have told you that all, all religions are the same, right? Well, yeah, and, and, and that's what I believed a lot. Um, well, I, and all religions, I think, are very are the same in that they all have, like, the Quran, uh, the five pillars, or like Buddhism with the eight ways. They all, ha or, they, or Judaism, the Ten Commandments. They all have a set, not set number of rules that will help you reach heaven, enlightenment, oneness with the universe, whatever. Um, and they all, they all rely on your effort, on your pulling yourself up by your bootstraps and being a good person, changing your life. It is you who changes you. And I believe that that is the gospel that most, that I believe every in the world believes. However, when I read the Bible, I see that I am incapable of making myself a better person. I am at my core. I'm, I feel the spiritual superiority, the pride that I am better than you because I know more. Or I feel um, jealousy for things that I, that, that is, and, and I hurt people and I, and I am messed up. Thank you very much. I, I really appreciate that. Um, and I knew that no matter what, um, that I would not be able to uh, earn my way to rightness with God. Um, but thankfully, the Bi what the Bible preaches is that God does not love you because you are good. Because God loves you, you can be good. And when Jesus, when Jesus saves you, and rescues you. You cannot help but love him and desire and to, I can to tell change. You, sir, I'm I'm also a Christian. I am not I am not this I'm a Catholic. I'm not the same denomination as this girl here. Excuse me. And one conversation? Can we have one conversation? I'll come back to that. that. He's a violent guy and this. I didn't read that in the Quran. I no, read that in uh, history. Let the lady speak. I, 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 but I agree. In the Quran, he seems like a perfect man. He seems Can like I address the that that everyone would want to be. Yeah. But I found. Well, Quran, but could you could you help me because I yes, I yes. Examined. Thank you. I mean, yeah. you've made a very good case, an emotional case for your. I'm sorry for the emotion. No, 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 no. I an emotional know. case for your. But um, I want to hear what the brother have to say, and maybe um, if you allow me, I just have some points. Because you made very interesting points, but let's hear what the brother has to say first. Firstly, when, when Christians compare Muhammad to Jesus, we have to bear something in mind. 
you claim Jesus is God. Or you don't, Sir, right? please don't. I, I don't. I don't. I don't no, want no, to let go Let me in. make my point, and okay. then you can. So you claim Jesus is God. We don't claim Muhammad is God. Yes. Firstly, you you comparing your God to my prophet. No, I'm not. Let me carry on, and then you can rebut. I, I'm not doing that. Though, Sorry, sir. can I can I just? I think you misunderstand my argument. What I I want to know. Can I carry on, and then yes. you can? Yeah. So Muhammad, when he came, he was a ruler of his land. Was Jesus a ruler? Wasn't. As part of ruling the land, you have crime and punishment. You have to deal with daily, daily business. He has to decide over judgments that people bring to him. Right. Part of the judgment is also punishment to run the country. So when he decrees something, he decrees according to the Quran, which is also according to your old testament. When you say the wives, sorry, what, what second? When you say that you are allowed to take the wives of people who died in the battle, it's also in Deuteronomy chapter 22. Exact same yes, verse. Yes, can chapter I, can 22 I verse 10. Yes. Sorry, let me finish. What does the verse say? That if you see a woman, if you see a woman and you like her in the war, you take her home, you take her home, let her mourn for a month. Mourn what? The death of the husband, father, mother, and then you can take her as a wife. So when we say that Muhammad did this, we need to look at your Bible as well. Right? So we need to be have the same standard. Although we only claim Muhammad is a, is a human being. Or was it just yes. a messenger? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So he, he wasn't God, like you say. I know, I don't say do you, that. Do you believe Jesus is God? Yes. Right. This is what I mean. I mean but I don't that. believe that Muhammad claims right, let's to be go God. Back, let's go back to the violence in with Benu Qurayda sir, in Medina. Um, can, I, can I address the... Before the, you address, you made the point. Sorry, sorry. Before you address, because you made a lot of interesting yeah. points, a lot of them. So yeah, it, is only fair, it is only fair, as Muslims, if we have our say on this issue, right? So um, carry on and then. Yeah. So, for example, Banu Qurayda, you mentioned Muhammad allowed the killing of, they say, 600 or a figure that's been plucked from the skies. There weren't even 600 men in that place for Banu Qurayda. What happened with them? They made a treaty to support the state that Muhammad was running for life. Imagine the United States, Trump, does a treaty with Canada. I'm sorry, let, let me make it. Trump makes a treaty with Canada that when England attacks them, Canada will help USA. When England attacked, Canada went with USA. So what would Trump do to them? To do to them? I can never predict right. anything Trump does. But let, let's, <laughs> I think people who are watching this video will know the point I'm making. But what happened here, when the Meccans came to attack the Muslims in Medina, this Banu Qurayda sided with the Meccans, already outnumbering the Muslims. <laughs> So when, when the Muslim, uh, the, the pagans the went back to Mecca, now there has to be a judgment for treason against the state. And this is what happened. I wanted to bear this in mind. The Banu Qurayda leaders, they asked for one of their allies to judge them, not Muhammad. Remember, Muhammad is a state leader here, the leader of the state. He, as such, should be judging them. But he gave them what they wished. You want your ally to judge you? No problem, you can have him. And what did Sa'ad bin Mu'ad, who's the one who judged them, what did he use? Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Um, sir, I understand what you're referencing. So, if you have an issue with what Sa'ad did to the Banu Qurayda, then you have an issue with your Bible. I don't. Okay. Because yes, I, can... I just want to add a few yes. points. You can respond to these points uh, in, in a moment. As I said, you know, long time ago, I used to visit a website called Answering Muslims by David Wood. Um, What's it called? Answering Muslims by David Wood. And I used to love his arguments in the sense that Christians are very familiar in using it. So every Christian I used to speak to is actually an exact replicative statement from that website. So the statement's about, unfortunately, what I've seen from you as well, I don't, I don't say you've got, actually got it from them, reflects, you know, Mia Bil Mia, who is in Arabic, like 100% of, of, of the material that is found within there. The only problem is, when I used to read that and I wanted to see what the Muslim had to respond, I never found Christians actually reading the response in response to those arguments that are made. So many things you said about historicity and you know, the perfect character, all of these issues. So if I were to ask you, okay, did you study, I'm sure you studied a lot because that's where you're coming out from, in the university settings, maybe in, in, a, in a university where these studies are made by academics or you learned them from books here and there. You mentioned one of the books by C.S. Lewis. Interesting Christians do read it. 
Um, when I, when I, when I, I'm not going to ask you. Okay, let's leave it to your knowledge base. Whatever you've read, um, you can correct me if I'm if I'm um, saying something totally uh, unrealistic. Muslims often go to certain things about Christian argument, and they don't bother also just, to read what the Christians have to respond from their academic exegetes and so on. So if you were to look at some of the materials that has explained, yes. fine. So I would have expect that you have also done the same for the things that you've looked at because you have made up your mind that you've examined the Quran and the Islam and the Prophet and 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 you've examined the historicity of the Bible and Jesus and Christianity and then you found convincing Christianity. So if we were now to go into example by example, um, I would ask you, for example, okay, what is the basis for you're actually making that claim? Because you found the Muslim scholarly response inadequate or because the response doesn't exist. So let's give you one example about this issues about the Prophet marrying someone uh, in the battlefield and you amounted to as a rape. And the example you just highlighted a little bit. Where did you actually study this from and which scholarly material have you read in response by the Muslims? Then we can continue. Yes, um, so Imam, um, oh man, I'm sorry. I read it out of a book of a commentary of the Quran written by Imam. Hmm. Amen. Uh, Amen. I'm sorry. Um, I, I really Amen. do wish I was at school. Yes, okay. and, and you're right. Um, I think a lot of me is, is mistaken to think of it as a rape. Um, no, no, no. But Where have you read and the responses by the Muslims? Because for my, from my, from prim, I, most of my research for the uh, for, for Muslim academic thought comes from books that I've read and imams that I've spoken. So, to. which particular I've, primary I don't sources have you to read? Have studied it, no, which particular books no. primarily Islamic sources have you read? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, commentaries. Like, I don't have them with me. I'm sorry. No, no. Think about something you've read because if it's something that's convinced you, you should have read. Is it from, for example? Imam Jabir Al Tabari, you know his his root. Why exactly are they being called false tears? I mean, people are passionate about a lot of things. Pe people will cry when they're passionate about certain things. She's passionate about Christianity, so she's crying. I don't think they're false tears, cause it's not like anyone was arguing without anything. She was, she had the entire flow without anyone almost not disturbing her. So. I think the root tears. That's when, when it comes to whatever they're talking about. I mean, it's a lot for you to make claims. You should be able to back them up. There's many books. I'm sure people know that there's many books out there that uh, put or show Muhammad as a bad person, as compared to what she says, like the Quran, which um, has highlighted Muhammad, like the person that you want to be in life, a good person, one person. A person that helps, a person that's just there for the community and everything, like a people's um, person. Otherwise, I'm just I can't comment fully on this. I just want to watch how this is going to end. That's an article at the end. So let me get to the second part.